Hello class. I am going to go through some of the drawings that we did in class today in order that you can look at them animated and hopefully they make some sense. So let's get started. I'm going to draw my axes here, label them price and quantity, right? and we are looking at a constant cost industry and we're going to begin in long run equilibrium so I'm drawing my supply and demand curves these are our initial supply and demand curves I'm going to label them S0 and D0 they correspond to a quantity of Q0 and a price of P0 now the question says that demand increases so I'm going to shift demand out to the right that happens, I'm going to call that curve D1 because it happens after the D0. Now we started in a long run equilibrium at P0 and Q0 so that means that at that point firms are making zero economic profit. Now we move to a short run equilibrium point right here at Q1 and P1 which correspond to the curve D1. Now when the price goes up, firms make profits. Other firms see those profits and they are attracted to that industry. So new firms enter the industry and in the long run we give them time to enter the industry. That's going to shift the supply curve to the right and that's going to make a new supply curve right there. Actually, let me redraw that. Nope, sorry. I'll call that S2 because it happens after D1. So now this new long run equilibrium point is associated with Q2. And because it's a constant cost industry, production has expanded and P2 is equal to P0. If we want to make our long run supply curve, we just take this first long run equilibrium point and the second long run equilibrium point we connect them and that is our long run supply curve notice that it is flat it is perfectly elastic the long run supply curve is more elastic than the short run supply curves right, so that is what a constant cost industry looks like and I will make another video for an increasing cost industry